Well, today on the RC lawnmower, I actually got to try it out. Uh, but the main thing I was doing first was working on uh, the height adjustment and physically mounting the deck to the frame. So you can see here, I just cut another piece of this, welded this on, going straight down to the original uh, wheel axle, which is adjustable with this uh, height control lever right here. Now, what I ran into an issue with is you can see I also have the back one on the other side done. Uh, but the problem is, you see the angle this is at is a little bit different angle than what this is at. So I did test with another piece up here. And what happens is because those two angles are different, it's sort of two different arcs. So what happens is if it's a fixed point between two uprights, but those two arcs are different, um, the distance between the two changes. And so what happens is essentially uh, those two axles, as I try to adjust the height, try to either push apart or squeeze together uh, against these uprights. And what really happens is it moves part way and then it just gets really hard to push the rest of the way into the position I want it to go. And I was afraid maybe that would happen. Um, so what I did is I just finished up welding up the back two, and then on the front I threw a bungee cord on there for now, um, just to get this relatively level, uh, because since at least I have two fixed points in the back, uh, the whole deck uh, is really held in there pretty well. And in fact, uh, the mower is actually on right now. And I did a little bit of test mowing. So here you can see it's mowed. Here, for example, it's not. It's it's hard to show what that difference is on camera, but that's some really long, thick grass. And this is a pretty short cut. And the other thing is it rained this morning. Um, and right here is a, a pretty steep hill going up to the road. So I am testing this mower in sort of the worst conditions. I got the deck down pretty low, uh, everything's wet, but um, in testing so far, one thing I did like is uh, the way this starts. Having to be up right here to start it, I think was a, a good idea. Of course, I don't know if I can do that with uh, one hand holding the camera. And the other thing that I actually really like is you don't have to get too far away from the lawnmower before it's it's really quiet, which I thought was was pretty neat. Um, I've never really experienced that because normally I would be pushing it and I'm right next to it. And even if it is quieter than a gas mower, you don't really notice so much. So in my experiments so far, another thing that I learned is that when you have tank steering, depending on how you're moving, uh, you can have both wheels moving, or you could have uh, you could have them moving opposite directions, or you could just have one moving. And the issue there is, if you're steering where only one tire is moving, you lose half your traction because only one tire is going. Now, if I go forward, no problem getting going, right? So, with these two wheels being relatively close together and on wet grass, um, the steering isn't fantastic. As long as I'm moving forward, it's fine. And again, kind of worst conditions possible, just wet grass and low mowing deck and everything else. Um, I think tank treads would be pretty unstoppable. But so far it's been a pretty good experiment. Uh, having the remote kill switch to trim the blades off, I think is a really good idea. That works very well. Um, you know, I can be anywhere and kill the blades pretty quickly. I already had a neighbor stop by on his electric bike and he was like, no way, no way. And we, we talked a bit, he really liked it. He thought it was a very cool project. Um, the other thing is it is a little long. So if you're on like a really sort of a short, steep hill, it's a, a little easier to get stuck than a, a shorter mower would be. Um, but overall, I'm digging it so far. I just got to figure out that uh, front height. So maybe what I do is maybe I can take this apart and change the angle of this 
so that it matches the back and then it would be a parallelogram and it would go up and down just fine. Otherwise, surprisingly, throwing this bungee cord on here works pretty good. And if I just had like a piece of threaded rod from here to here with a little hand crank on the end, that would probably be a perfectly good uh, height adjustment on the front end as well. So as it is, I'm, I'm thinking it's it's off to a good start. Obviously the wires are still hanging out all over and everything like that, but um, I'm kind of having fun and it's uh, not bad for a start.